Hi, my name's Zach. Today I want to show you Texas Instruments' latest in sinusoidal, sensorless, brushless DC control, the DRV-10983. Specifically, I will be showing you the Evaluation Module, or EVM, which can be ordered from Texas Instruments. In this video, I will go through the steps to get the EVM motor spinning. For more information on this Evaluation Module, refer to the User's Guide and Tuning Guide for the DRV-10983, available on TI.com. When you receive this EVM, here's what you should have in your box. The EVM circuit board, a 24 volt three phase brushless motor, the USB to any tool and provided cables, a standard document about Texas Instruments EVMs, a document describing how to use the motor, and a quick start guide showing you how easy it is to use and set up the DRV10983. The first thing you need to do to get the motor spinning is to install the GUI. This can be found on TI.com on the product page for the DRV-10983 EVM. Scrolling down on the page under the software header, click to download the DRV-10983 EVM in software file and extract it. In the extracted file, double click setup. Follow the recommended folder's location to ensure everything is installed correctly. The LabVIEW runtime engine is also required, so please install this after the GUI's installation is finished. In the installation procedure, there is a menu that shows a link for the runtime engine. This link is also in the README file in the downloaded GUI folder. After the GUI is installed, before running it, connect the hardware. Make sure the potentiometer is turned counterclockwise until it stops. Verify the speed input jumper, or jumper 2, is on analog. Connect the three phases of the motor. Plug in the USB to any cable to the PC with the provided USB cable and to the EVM with the ribbon cable. Finally, apply 24 volts from a DC power supply. With the hardware setup, the last thing to do is to load the motor parameters. The DRV10983 is a highly configurable device, meaning it is flexible enough to run a wide variety of BLDC motors from ceiling fans to small computer cooling fans and many in between. The optimum settings for the EVM motor are provided in the downloaded GUI folder. To obtain the parameters for a different motor, refer to the tuning guide and GUI's user guide available for the DRV10983, available on the TI website. To load the EVM motor parameters, start by opening the GUI application. On the GUI startup, select the proper device, DRV10983. To verify that you are connected to the EVM, see the connection status at the bottom of the GUI. It will be green and say connected. After verifying the connection, click on enable configuration. It will turn from red to green. Next, select load under motor configuration. Browse to the location where you downloaded the GUI folder. Select the correct motor configuration settings for the motor shown in this video. Select the Runtian file. Click OK. Next, most of the GUI settings should change. These new values reflect the settings for the EVM motor. Now turning the potentiometer will start up and control the speed of the motor. Thank you for watching. I hope this has shown you how easy to use our new sinusoidal, sensorless VLDC controller is. For more information, Please visit TI.com and go to the product page for the DRV10983.